so we are on the way to the Giraffe Center. We decided to take a shortcut. The Ascari of our Airbnb told us we can go this way, it's shorter. Maybe. Here we are, civilization. Here they have the nature trails uh, included in the drill center. We're gonna check this out. What is up, guys? Today, our plan is to check out the giraffe center. I guess a lot of people out there have heard about it. Right next to it would be the giraffe miner where you can sleep at night. What you see on in Instagram when people are having breakfast and the giraffes are putting their head inside the, the tea house. But yeah, for now, we're just checking out the giraffe center. It's yeah, like a sanctuary built in 1979 or something. See you there. We decided to take a shortcut. Our the Ascari of our Airbnb told us we can go this way, it's shorter. But he said it's bush. And there is a lost cow which sounds a bit angry. So this is really bush. <laughs> Here's the uh, Mad Bolsa Cafe. It's uh, pretty famous here in Nairobi. Gallery and Cafe. Maybe I take two stones. <laughs> <laughs> The herd got split up. It's so funny, you're walking in, a, in such a big city, even when it's the outskirts. Yeah. There's cows flying yeah. over the streets, uh, on the streets. If someone can explain me how they can leave the cows abundant always, and, yeah. you, and you don't see a shepherd, how, they, how do they make sure that the cows are belonging to them or that they, that they pick up the cows in the evening? Or a few weeks later. Can someone please drop in the comment? Okay, seems like the adventure is going on. What the heck? <laughs> That's really the bullshit. Eh? I feel like in a national park. We have to continue walking up here and uh, at the end, supposedly, is the GF Center. Check it out! Locals will see us, they will think we are banana. Zungus eh? walking in the side roads, to say five minutes walk and to, to get an adventure for sure. Mambo? No problem? <laughs> okay. Okay, Asante sir. He says his cows are safe. We just walk past them. Okay. Baby. What is going on, cow? Hello. He said I have to say hello to the cows, so. Right. That's interesting. Those. Those situations you don't have over, over in Germany. Here we are, civilization. Back on proper roads and over here is supposed to be the Giraffe Center. We made it. So we are here, very important, washing the hands before to not infect the giraffe with some human disease. 
Do not approach the giraffe without the pellets, as they tend to headbutt. Okay. We got some food over here, a nice coconut. Oh no, a nice coconut peel. Shall we? And with this we can feed the giraffes. And we take now 1500 shillings, which is about 12 dollars, I imagine, I believe. And yeah, for this you have a small trail here where you can walk. Some infos about the Giraffe Park. It was um, founded 1979 by a couple which were realizing that they just have 130 giraffes left in Kenya. So they decided to, to build a stationery over here. And they took two young giraffes and they, they kept them here and they breed them. And when they are two years old, then they can get released in the wild and they already released 40 giraffes in different national parks in, in Kenya so it's a good thing what we're doing here 90% of the winnings are going into this, back into the sanctuary and you have a lot of kids here and what I read before on the internet already is that kids in school classes they have free entrance so it's not, not a tourist attraction where they earn a lot of money. It's about a lot about education and the sanctuary and the breeding program for the Rothschild giraffes, which I like a lot. So let's check it out. All right, all right, we got our first giraffe. Okay, now, it's, now it's my turn. First time eating a, <laughs> feeding a giraffe. <laughs> Just asking, they told us that this giraffe, for example, is around 10 years old. And these are obviously a bit younger. Another cool thing, when you see the one in the back over there. What is it? It's camouflage. When you see over this one or this one, they have a slightly different, different pattern. So I guess they are uh, mixed up giraffes. It's very warm today, but it's very calm here, very interesting. It's, it's for sure worse than it. <laughs> Apparently, what I just found out, this one is not a different species or not mixed up. It's just, just a bit older than the others. So the body the shape of the body and the, the pattern is just changed a bit over the years so I get I guess she had a lot of uh, tourists feeding her all her life so she's fed up she doesn't want anymore Those tongues, they are so long and they are so rough. No wonder that they can get the leaves from acacia trees and stuff without getting hurt. <laughs> He's afraid that they headbutt. Mm. Here you have the different types of giraffes. So this is the one which we had here. This is the type you found in the giraffe center. Is there a tree? Yes, there is. Yes. So everybody knows the giraffe miner, no? Like it's said here, it is one of the best promotion for Kenya in tourism. But eventually they stopped 1994 supporting the same project as the Giraffe Center. I'm not sure what that means. Now we got ourselves now a coffee, like always, and, and a Sprite. 
reasonable prices. Coffee around uh, one, no, two dollar, and the Sprite around eighty dollar cent. And yeah, we're gonna have a break now. Drink the coffee, drink the Sprite. Then we're gonna head off. As far as I know, we can go on another trail and we can walk a bit. Check this out. So that was the giraffe center for today. But we still have a small part left on the video because we're gonna walk now the nature trail. It's uh, included in the giraffe center. We're gonna check this out. Stay around if you wanna see what's going on there. I love to, to read those things before I enter a trail or something. <laughs> no responsibility for injury or however. Okay. So apparently even here are wild giraffes or how do I understand this? Let's check this out. We found a bird feeder over here and over here. And if you pay attention, you hear a lot of small birds and you can even see them. I don't know how good you can see them when they come out. Again, we are in the middle of in the middle of Nairobi or in the suburb of Nairobi and complete wilderness. I can experience this every day I, and I will be not stopped to be surprised. Love it! We just followed some signs which were saying Go Go River. I guess this was the river or in the rain season this is the river. And over there it's getting a bit more wild. I guess that means Let's go on an adventure. Okay, okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't uh, provocate. Let's go this way. There you see some traces of giraffes. Crazy, and it smells much more over here. Like animal. They are so big, giraffes, and here's just a bush, not so high trees, so supposedly you should see them early. But yeah, they are also very good camouflage, so it's hard to find them. Today, no giraffes in the wild, but next time, guys, next time. So, as you can see, here is dead end, we are not allowed to continue over here, but cool to know that we could have spotted some giraffes in this uh, nature trail over here. But we will finish here. Thank you for watching. I hope you leave me a like, leave me a co comment and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.